Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy from Buckeye Sports Center. We've had tons of inquiries on the Stingray 236 um, center console and just got one in today. I got it unwrapped. Hasn't been through prep or rigging yet, but I figured, hey, let's go ahead and take a quick walk around. I'll show you some of the things that have made it so special. So coming in at 23 feet, eight inches, um, this boat gives you more than enough um, for being on Lake Erie stability, doesn't rock side to side, it's a dry ride. Um, you have a nice big deep V entry angle. Um, and the name of the game for this boat is the hull design. Because that deep V entry angle goes ahead and gives you a dry ride. And then as we go to the back, you can see how it goes ahead and gives you a little bit more room closer to the water on the freeboard towards the back which is going to make it easier to net fish and um, be able to have access to the water. And then walking around the back here, you can really see how wide the surface area that touches the water is. It's wide and is flat. We actually extend the running surface width all the way to the side here, almost the beam width of the boat which that's going to give you a ton more stability and make it so the boat doesn't rock as much side to side. It's also going to plane out a little quicker. So this boat's kind of like a convertible. It gives you a lot of different features to go ahead and uh, make it conform to what you want to do boat-wise. If you want to have a lot of people on the boat, you've got four seats here in the back. We have our nice helm seat. But if we want to go ahead and convert it, we can go ahead and just flip these down, make for really easy entry and exit. And then we can even take off those center cushions and uh, make a nice casting platform. The helm seat's extremely comfortable. Having the two separate um, seat bottoms with the singular back and bolsters flip up nice and easy. And they really thought about having a nice kick step down there to go ahead and lean up against for our short people. And then you also have a nice kick bar there for the cooler. And they do put a really nice angle cooler on this boat. Moving up towards the bow. Kind of incorporated everything. Right now I've got kind of a fishing lounge setup. The neat thing about the front here is there are so many different cushions and setups you can go with. Right now I've got the fishing seat in, you know, if somebody still wants to lay out on the sides they can. And then even have a seat right in the front by the T-top with a nice little live well inside. On the starboard side of the bow, we've got a nice trash can there and also a wash down sink. And on the port side over here, we have again a little cooler sink area and then tackle trays, easy to pull out. Underneath the bow lounging seats, you can turn those into coolers, they have drains in them. And we even have a bait bucket up in the bow also with a little additional storage right underneath the casting seat up here. You have nice bow rails to be able to hold on to with cup holders. And one thing I love that Stingray did on this boat is they made it so we could put a bow mounted trolling motor on it easily. There's even a plug there. We have a nice trolling motor mount. It's going to be able to go over the side and make it nice and easy to be able to fish on. That's not a common thing for center consoles to be able to use a nice bow mounted trolling motor. pop-up cleats and working ourselves down the gunnel you can see plenty of rod holders Let's see one two three four going down each side and then there's also four on the back here also along with cup holders and a spot for a ski pylon and then we also have on our t-top six rocket launchers along with on each side of the gunnels you have um, four rod holders there and then four rocket launcher style right on the back seat. So plenty of room for fishing rods 
So we have a nice, easy, large um, head compartment in there. With on this boat, we have it equipped with a porter patty that is pump out. And let's not forget the T-tap. You have spreader lights, one up in the front. We also have two in the back here, right underneath the driver's console, so you'll be able to see that steering wheel and your electronics easier. There's even a nice little glove box, good spot if you wanted to put in a ship to shore radio. And moving to the back, there are two spreader lights on each side. So overall, really set up nice, easy to fish off of, easy to cruise around with the family on, um, handles Lake Erie and big water, perfect, like a dream, um, very comfortable ride. Uh, give me a call today. Uh, I know that I have a lot of people interested in this boat, and that's why I'm getting a video before it's even got the engine put on or it's been cleaned up because a lot of people interested in it want to make sure we can get you one for this year. Thanks so much.